In the next few minutes, you're going to learn how to set up, launch, and scale your own digital products using WAP. Just a few months ago, I dropped a tutorial on how to use the platform, but since then they've released their 4.0 update, which takes things to the next level going into 2025. So today I'm gonna to show you everything you need to know on how to set up your own WAP, even just using your phone. So let's get into it. So as this 4.0 update is primarily based around the sort of mobile experience and mobile optimization, which literally lets you create a business from the power of your phone, which is really just never seen before, to actually be able to start and optimize everything, how to design everything, how to set up and see dashboards and everything just from the, the, you know, the power of your phone, we're actually going to be going through and starting your own WAP through the phone. So what you're going to do right now is you're going to head over to the app store and download the official WAP app onto your phone, uh, which is available on iOS and Android. And when you have that successfully downloaded, then you're going to click the link in the description, which is basically a link that brings you to create your own first WAP. Now, when you load this up, it will say, let's build your WAP. And it will do this on the sort of Safari browser as of right now. So then you're going to put in your email and then click continue. Now, as soon as you do that, it will say, let's create your WAP. What you can actually do right now is head over directly to the WAP app. And as soon as you load it up, you'll have this screen, which you can just click sign up and press continue. And what you see right now is that it is going to automatically log you in just through what you've done on the Safari. It's smart. So now you're already inside. And as you can see, you have several sections. You have the feed, you have discover, you have messages, and you have dashboard, which you have the full functionality to basically go through and just use the full platform through your mobile. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to launch your own WAP yourself. Now with WAP, you can start your business on your phone in just 60 seconds. So go ahead and click launch your WAP. Now it's going to ask you to name your WAP. So let's put in the name of the thing that you're selling. Now, as you can see, there will, there will be a sort of challenge which you can complete, which you get a crazy reward from. Now it's you get your logo on a Times Square billboard. You get a two night stay in a hotel. You get Wagyu dinner at WAP HQ and more just for processing $3,000 in your first 30 days with your product, which by the way, obviously you're making the profit on. They are not taking the money from it because WAP only takes a 3% fee. So we'll go ahead. Now we're building the Ski Academy. Now, as you can see, the challenge has started. Now you have 29 days, uh, 23 hours, 59 minutes to get that $3,000. So congratulations, you've already created the outline of your WAP. Now let's get into the finer details. So basically we have the full freedom to customize our WAP from here, starting with the media at the top. This is where you can add an array of images and videos to basically describe your, your product, you know, to show your face, to show your artwork, to show even a glimpse inside the course. And just so someone has this visual representation of what they're actually buying. So what I'd actually recommend you to do is have an array of photos, but the first one be this sort of main artwork that you have that kind of is the the visual eye candy where people can see in a list of different products and just see yours and see that it stands out more than others. And the second slide be a sort of short VSL where you can actually describe your products. People can see you on screen, I can hear you, and basically you describing the product, you know, just a classic VSL, but in a shortened manner. And then the rest of them could be a load of different images to support and just basically get that sort of sell. So when you click upload media, you have a bunch of different options. You can just upload and sort of uh, rearrange everything how you want it to be when you upload them. For now, just for our purposes of the video, I've just got this very simple sort of logo that's there and we can click save. And then as you can see, it's already there. And as you can see next to the blue tick, you'll see the ski academy. And essentially you see the verified tick. Now, what verified is basically a way to show that your product has been verified personally by the WAP team to make sure that there's the quality side of things behind there. Now you can actually see the terms and conditions of getting verified and what because most of the products, most of the WAPs don't get verified because they need to be in a certain threshold and a certain sort of status to be able to get verified. So you can check the terms and descriptions. I'll actually put that in the description too, um, in that sort of sector. As I said, the reason is completely quality control and trust because WAP refunds are guaranteed for WAP verified products, which means that WAP themselves will refund people themselves if they have an issue or something like that and not the, the creator behind it because it's at that sort of status where it's already processed uh, a lot of money has a lot of customers and it's basically a well-oiled business where WAP themselves can be on behalf of that verified uh, company and make sure that basically as I said it's guaranteed that someone can get a refund if they're not happy or they have a, have a legitimate reason why they would need a refund. Now as you can see below is add a description so you can just basically have a short description describing your product so what I'm going to put is the Ski Academy is a place to learn how 
to ski like an expert. Of course, I'm hoping you can word your product a lot better than me. However, this will work for now. And what you can see here is that it has a description below the logo. So as you can see, it's already really coming together just by making these, you know, little touches. And that's just, that's just a little bit of it. Now, this next section basically shows how many people are inside your what. It will show this sort of from a community standpoint, just so people on the outside can see just how credible your product is and how many people are inside of it. Okay. But of course, because your product is new, you might not want this on because you won't have many people inside of your WAP. So that's no problem. Automatically, it's toggled off on this toggle switch. So basically, it'll just, sh it will just hide from new users. And when you got to the point where you feel like you're credible enough, then you can just toggle this on and then it will show on your public WAP page. So now it's the learn about me section, which basically describes you as a person, as a seller, the person, the company that is behind the WAP themselves. So this is where you can actually edit your profile. You can view your profile right here. Obviously, I've just created this one. So it's very new and you can see even the ski academy right there um, is already in place. But basically, then you can go ahead and look at your activity and your you've created a profile, essentially. So what you're doing in this section is it will just show exactly who you are. So your username, your profile picture, and just a short bio about yourself. And you can basically go ahead and edit that and just get that all nicely customized. And that of course is public for the people looking to buy your product. Now this next section is who this is for. And this is amazing because then you can just generally call out the people that this is for and write for, and people can see this and see if they've been called out themselves. And if something resonates with them, then they know that this is for them. So how we can do this is we can press add a persona and click here. And basically we can describe our ideal customers. So for example, beginners to snow sports, for example, you know what I mean? Um, and a description of how your offer will help them, this specific person. Um, I'm just going to leave this blank for now, but you'll see how it all comes to play. And then you can see that that would be a description below it. Okay. And you can edit this and just, just add another one. And so for example, the next one could be uh, ski beginners. Um, I'm just going to put another one to make it match nicely. But what you can see is obviously then it's just stacked on top of each other. So you can just, if you have a product where it can apply to a couple of different people, for example, myself, I'm about to launch the most comprehensive program for video editors, which teaches them how to become the best at the skill and how to make, earn a lot of money from someone who's actually done it. And this could be for a few different people, people who are just freelance video editors who feel like they're not getting the right clients who aren't earning enough who just feel stuck and just really just hate what they do. Another persona could be someone who's just looking for the best option to start right now. They're a creative person, but they don't know exactly what endeavor to start and what's going to be the best thing in 2025. So that's a really cool feature and actually something that people even miss out on their own funnels themselves when they build it. Now, the next thing is pricing options, which then of course you have an array of options of how you want to do it. Now, firstly, you need to set up payouts before you can receive payments. So you need to set up your WAP sort of payments. Now, what partners with Stripe? So they have their own sort of Stripe account. Your payments get processed through their account and they pay you out as a business. So therefore you just never have to worry about being shut down. You never have these just random moments where you get an email saying, oh wait, your payment account's being shut down and we're holding your funds. That never happens. That is something that truly has been a core of what and, and their principles. So you just know that always when you process payments, that you always get them out. So make sure to set up the what payouts because it'll literally just take a few minutes. And once it's done, it's done. Now let's click add to pricing option. Now, as you can see, there's multiple, there's free and paid. So free would be good if you had a free discord where you just wanted to stack up the numbers and obviously convert these people in the future into your paid groups. So you can go ahead and click free and then you can have it visible on store page, although only accessible via link. So just basically sort of a private way of doing things. But of course, for you, I'm sure that you want to do sort of a public launch. Um, so you do visible on store page and then it would just be an instant access or waitlist. Waitlist basically can have people that apply to join and you have the full control of when you let them to come in. So you just press approve or deny on them. It's basically, as it, as it says on the tin, it's just a wait list. Then you have some more options such as expiration and stock, which you can go ahead before actually just confirming the pricing option. But what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way back and we're going to click paid. So let's go ahead. What you can do is do single payments or subscriptions. Whether you want to just build up your MRR and just have a subscription based thing and have all the functionality of doing that, or just sell a course one time or a high ticket payment for one time, whether that's $1,000, $8,000, $15,000, it doesn't really matter. You can set it up either way. And now you genuinely have all the options you need for payments on WAP, like 
they basically l listen to all the feedback over the last few months and just have all the things so you have sort of payment plans you have subscriptions you have terms for subscriptions you have this for example a first month could be free and then after that then it's a certain payment um sort of schedule so you have all the functionality and anything you can kind of think of that's what you can bring to reality so for example if we go ahead and press single payment we can go down and price this let's say we just want to make it five hundred dollars for example and then you have the expiration so if we put never expires it basically gives them access forever it never expires however if we go ahead and basically um change these things so one week for example they could get one a week access to the program before then they are basically taken out of it or one month or one year, whatever you might want to do. You can actually just make this fully custom to what you want. But as this is just a sort of one-time payment, lifetime, lifetime access uh, product, we're going to click never expires and it has unlimited stock. Press done and then press save. And there we go. Lifetime access, $500 to the Ski Academy. Now, the next section is frequently asked questions, which you can go ahead and just basically put a question and then an answer. So if there's anything uh, there you can do, a very simple and reviews will actually show here. Now reviews are vetted by the WAP team themselves and just cannot be faked. And lastly is the affiliate section. And of course this is amazing because then you can literally get people to sell your product for you and they can get a piece of the pie from doing so. Now, once you've built the shell of your WAP or your business, you know exactly what you want to give the people that come inside, whether that's a course, a community or a forum or a chat or video calls, whatever it might be is you know exactly what you want to give people and you can basically give them access to different things depending on different pricing points that they are, that they have paid for or uh, whatever you feel like you're offering at the time and actually how to add that inside your WAP you click the add app button and you can go in and basically select exactly what you want to do for example if it's a course that you want to give you can click courses okay and then you can go out and build the full-on course for your students to be enrolled inside. It's just completely dependent on what you want to offer your students. Now you can really take the time to stack this out and make it how you want it to be. Because of course, things you, you don't wanna rush things. You wanna get things perfect and just have them how you want them to be. So you can just take your time, configure, and WAP is here to help you. In fact, if you go down to the bottom of the screen, you'll see where it says add a headline. If you click on this, it'll actually give you guidance on how to complete your WAP in a perfect way. And it pretty much has an assistant for you on how to set it up. And like, tell me what, what other platforms do this and help you in this regard especially just from your phone so in your own time you can go finish this now we're going to move on to the rest of the app starting with the feed now as you can see when you're just sort of loading in on your first time you see it says nothing to see here yep that's because you've not joined any wops yourself so what you're going to do is you're going to go to the discover section and this is really just incredible like you have all of the wops in the entire platform here to view and just see if there's anything that's perfect for you like even of course you're building your own wop in your own business however you know of course you want to be different a part of different ones and things that are going to help you so you can see all the different sections fitness recreation miscellaneous like all of these different things and you can just see the best wops to join now as you can see at the bottom of the screen it says purchased on wop over 676 million dollars on the platform itself and over 5.2 million users now just in 2024 alone over 500 million dollars has been spent on WAP this year. And every week, over 2 million people come to WAP Discovery. And as you spend more time on the platform and basically show an interest in the things that you want to see, they tag every WAP and user that they'd believe that you purchase. So basically the things that you like. So let me show you how the feed works by going into one of my friend's own WAPs, which you can see on the screen right now, Media Matters by Musa. And as you can see, over 123,000 people have joined the WAP. So if we just go ahead and basically click, uh, click free lifetime, We'll press go access, uh, get free access and then continue. And then we are straight inside of the WAP. Now, if we go over to the home section now, as you can see your updates and shows the feed uh, going down of all the things that have happened inside of the WAPs that you're in or the WAPs that you own. The WAP feed only delivers relevant content. So no noise or clutter. Think of it like Instagram, but it only shows you the content that you paid for or that you've joined. And also the things that come through notifications are only the highest priority content. So you've seen the feed and you've seen the sort of discover section now, and also dashboard, of course. Now, if you go to messages, you can basically start messages with anyone on the WAP platform. 
Now, if you don't actually, they don't know you, you haven't connected before, whatever it is, it will go into their sort of message requests. However, you can start a new message and you can create pretty much anyone on the platform. So if you do have friends that you connected with through the platform, basically you can just stay friends on there and just message back and forth. And it's very, very nice UI and experience. And just keep everything really nice and localized. This is also proves really good if basically you just want to have private connection with some of your customers that have gone into the platform. They might've messaged you on the what platform, you can, you can reply to them. And therefore they know that you, they have this sort of personal connection with you and it's not just a public setting. Now, lastly, I just want to show you something, which is if you click onto the main sort of dashboard and it shows you the challenge at the top. So just make sure you're always staying accountable for that. If you scroll down, you'll see a lot of sort of metrics of how your WAP is doing in terms of performance, what your sort of revenue is, your finances, payment links, promo codes, and things like that. Now, as I said, with what payments, they have their own payment processor, which you can use. And some of the things that you can do with this is actually pay out some of your team members via WAP. As I've shown you before, you can do low ticket reoccurring communities, or high ticket payments. And some of the amazing little details are that WAP offers financing. So Affirm, Klarna and Afterpay. You can manage your users, refunds and chargebacks just using your phone. So generally you just have everything you need at your fingertips. For those who are in e-commerce, this is like the Shopify app store, but for creator businesses. So hopefully this has given you the full picture of what you can expect and why you should just go ahead right now after this video and get started. Let me know in the comments, you know, what is the WAP that you're starting? What is the mission with it? And what are you going to do? What are the results you're going to have? And if you're going to pass that challenge of 3K in 30 days, make sure to subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next video.